I got absentee ballot applications from the Secretary of State, my County Board of Elections, and a voter group, which is the right one. They're all right. So um, the good news is that you only need to fill it out once. It's common in Ohio to get multiple applications in the mail. So just get one done and get it in. Will I get in trouble if I send in more than one absentee ballot application? You will not get in trouble if you send in more than one absentee ballot application, but certainly we only need one to get the job done. If you have any questions about whether or not your application has been received and processed, you can just go to your County Board of Elections website and actually track the application. Can I just send in my ballot without postage? It says official election mail on it. Won't the post office deliver it? I would not recommend sending your ballot in without postage. There's a chance it will get delivered, but you're far better off going ahead and affixing the postage that's required. If you have any questions about how much that is, there will be an insert that comes along with your ballot that will tell you exactly how much to include with that ballot. If I get my ballot and forget to mail it back in time, can I just go to my polling place and drop it off there? You cannot drop your absentee ballot to your polling location. You have to take it to the one county drop box in your area. Can someone else drop off my ballot at a ballot drop box or at the Board of Elections? Ohio law is pretty stringent about who can drop off your ballot at the Board of Elections. You certainly can, or a direct family member. But as far as friends, uh, or neighbors or anything like that, Ohio law does not allow that to happen. So if you want to send it back, either do it yourself or get it to a close family member. I requested an absentee ballot, but I've decided I'd rather vote early, in person. Can I do that or is it too late now that I've requested the ballot? If you change your mind or you spill coffee all over your ballot, you can vote early or in person on election day in your neighborhood polling location you're gonna get a provisional ballot. And what that means is they're gonna make sure that you don't turn in your absentee ballot because they don't want your vote counting twice. What happens if I don't get my ballot until just a few days before the election? If you don't get your ballot until just a few days before the election, you might wanna consider going ahead and driving down to the Board of Elections and dropping that off. You can certainly stick it in the mail as long as it is postmarked the day before the election and received within 10 days after the election, we'll count it. Will I get in trouble if I vote by mail and then go to my polling place on election day and try to vote to test the system? Please don't try to vote twice. If you do, you can absolutely be prosecuted. Plus, it just creates a lot of extra work for poll workers and election officials. Um, what will happen is if you mail in your absentee ballot, and then show up on election day to try to vote, they're gonna give you a provisional ballot and they will not count that provisional ballot until they see whether or not you have voted absentee. We would not recommend trying to test the system. If you've already cast your ballot by absentee uh, voting methods, then please don't show up at the polling locations on election day. Uh, you won't necessarily get in trouble, but there might cause an investigation and so you wouldn't want that to happen. If you voted once, let that suffice.